like when it comes out. And what I love about it is the consistency. Look how creamy it stays. Look how creamy and poofy it looks inside. It's just lovely. And because it's a souffle dish, you could serve this at a weekend brunch out in the country. You know, it's just gorgeous. It's delicious cold the next day. It's a lovely light supper. And it's yet another way I can give my husband, John, his favorite dish, bacon and egg pasta. Up next, now, everybody's talking about the big upcoming presidential elections, even though we're still so far away from them. But your vote does count here at this show, too, in an entirely different way. We'll tell you how right after this. For years, the makers of Windex have been trying to convince you that making glass spotless and clear is good. But no. It is not a good thing to have so many hard-to-see windows in the air. Leave dirty stuff on your windows and do not use Windex on them. Real cheese people don't eat pasteurized processed cheese food. It's only required to contain 51% real cheese. With Sargento Natural Cheese Slices, you always get 100% real. Sargento, we're real cheese people. You may not dream of a world with the perfect bath tissue, but that's okay, because we do. New Fiora, stay bright. Sunshine and low humidity for a fantastic Friday. We'll let you know if it lasts through the entire weekend coming up at noon. Also, the Boynton Beach double murder. Will the team be charged as a minor or adult? That's next on News Channel 5 at noon. Make your home a more comfortable place to enjoy life's special moments during City Furniture's Memorial Day sale. A complete queen bedroom is just $9.99. A bonded leather sectional, $9.99. A five-piece dining set, $2.99. And find more great specials at cityfurniture.com. Plus, enjoy same-day delivery and no interest till 2017. Create memories that last a lifetime at City Furniture. Ladies, get cash on the spot for your clothes, shoes, and designer purses. Gather up those items that you've decided you're not wearing anymore, bring them into Clothes Mentor, and we'll pay you cash on the spot for the items we select to purchase. Okay, so about two weeks ago or so, we kicked off our big... America Designs Your Kitchen series. We introduced you guys to three amazing ladies who have beautiful families, and each of them very deserving of a new kitchen because they had some of the worst kitchens we had ever seen, like ever, clocked. Um, so you guys chose the Roberto family to get the makeover. The makeover is going to be filled with beautiful LG appliances from their Diamond series. They're not even out in the stores yet. So our, our winning family is going to have stuff that nobody else on the planet has. But the kitchen is going to be designed by Carter Osterhaus. Carter created three different design plans for you guys, for America to vote on for this family. America got to decide who was going to get the makeover, and America got to decide what the makeover was going to look like. Take a look at what's gone down so far. My kitchen desperately needs a makeover. <laughs> My son has cystic fibrosis and autism. We've been wanting to update the kitchen since we moved in, but any extra money we have goes to Lewis's medical bills. In the last couple of years, life has sold me quite a few lemons. When my husband unexpectedly left. I was overweight. Uh, things financially became tight, but I took all those lemons, which happened to be my favorite fruit, and turned them into lemonade. I cook for the homeless because nobody should ever go hungry. The winner of the new kitchen is? It is Melissa. <gasps> yeah! Our great friends, our generous friends at LG, your kitchen is going to feature appliances from the brand new LG Diamond Collection Kitchen Suite. These appliances are stunning. Carter has three different distinct designs. You guys are going to be the boss of that too. You're going to vote on that next. 
You can choose from the modern, traditional, the seaside, chic, or the country fresh. The appliances are so versatile that they're going to look great in any of the three kitchens, which is great news. Yes. Cardi did a great job creating three different environments. Congratulations again to Melissa and her husband and her beautiful son. You guys cast your votes for which kitchen design you wanted, and next Friday, you're gonna find out. You're the boss of it, you're gonna see that kitchen next Friday. We'll see you, we see everybody, bye-bye. New at noon, charges filed against the police officers involved in the controversial arrest of Freddie Gray in Baltimore. Also, the local mom who left her baby alone because she was high gets a reality check. We're back in just 30 seconds with local coverage you can count on. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. Just steps away from the water, relax and enjoy the atmosphere and amazing food with locations across South Florida. Mulligan's Beach House Bar and Grill, fun and food for the entire family. HD News on WPTV is sponsored by Stanley Steamer. begin with breaking news this noon. After two weeks of anger, protest, and riots, Baltimore's top prosecutor announcing criminal charges today against all six police officers suspended after the death of Freddie Gray. Gray suffered a fatal spinal injury while in police custody. Now the death has been classified as a homicide, and the city state attorney has determined there is probable cause to file charges. Findings of our comprehensive, thorough, an independent investigation coupled with the medical examiner's determination that Mr. Gray's death was a homicide, which we received today, has led us to believe that we have probable cause to file criminal charges. A state of emergency and nighttime curfew will stay in effect through the weekend. All Baltimore residents must stay off the streets starting at 10 o'clock each night. There's been no major confrontation since that curfew went into effect. Now, the death has been classified as a homicide in the city's state attorney determining, again, as we mentioned, probable cause. Uh, we're going to try to get more on that story coming up throughout this half hour. Uh, skip ahead, though. New at noon, a Boynton Beach 14-year-old, he will be charged as an adult. He's accused of murdering two people. The backstory here, Anthony Clark uh, being held right now without bail. He made his first court appearance this morning. Uh, police say he shot and killed two men in a car last month in suburban Boynton. Boynton Beach. Clark's attorney says he is not going to be kept in the jail's general population. Also new at noon, the mother accused of smoking flocka and leaving her baby in a building. Uh, she must stay away from her child. Kwashana Dobie covered her face as she made her first court appearance this morning. Police found her baby Thursday on Gulfstream Boulevard in front of an office building. Dobie says she fell asleep down the street after smoking that synthetic drug, again the drug Flocka. Uh, the baby is currently going to be staying with foster parents. Also new at noon, no bond for the man accused of shooting another man in the face on Monday. Byron Thomas is charged with attempted first degree murder. It's not clear what led up to the shooting on 3rd Street, but police Police say Thomas was with the victim outside of a home in Jupiter. He allegedly told the man to look the other way and shot him. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. Good afternoon, everyone. We started with a bit of a chill in the air this morning, and we've warmed up nicely. A lot of sunshine around, just a few clouds here and there, but some very dry air working its way into South Florida today. And that dry air is going to stay around through the weekend. As we take a quick look at live Viper 5, max temperatures climbing into the upper 70s and low 80s right now. The high temperatures will be pleasant as we continue over the next few days. The low temperatures will be a little bit chilly. We'll talk about our overnight lows and when our rainfall could return. Also, something interesting could develop in the Atlantic toward the beginning of next week. We're going to talk about all of that coming up in your forecast in just a few minutes. 
A boater that went missing in Belle Glade this morning has been found safe. Crew spent much of the morning trying to find him. The boater called his mom from a cell phone and said he was stuck near Torrey Island off Lake Okeechobee. Today is the last scheduled day of the 2015 legislative session. However, Governor Scott is trying to craft a plan for a special session so lawmakers can stay and pass a state budget. There is no end in sight, however, for a disagreement over Medicaid. The state Senate wants to expand the program. The House refused and adjourned before addressing the issue. Meanwhile, 800,000 Floridians are still without a health care plan and tax cuts hang in the balance. The Justice Department is launching a pilot program to put body cameras on police officers. The program would award $20 million in grants to departments across the country to buy these cameras, as well as train the officers on how to use them. Attorney General Loretta Lynch says this is vital for police in order to tackle new challenges. A new poll by the Associated Press shows more Americans are in favor of using drones to target and kill terrorist groups. Six in 10 say they support it. The poll just out today shows support for strikes across party lines. Nearly six in 10 Democrats are in favor, while 72% of Republicans favor unmanned drone strikes. The death toll from the earthquake that hit Nepal last weekend has topped 6,200. Authorities say 8 million people have been affected in the worst quake to hit that country in 81 years. International aid is finally being distributed, but there is anger at Nepal's government that they did not act quicker. One positive moment, though, came yesterday when rescuers found a teenage boy, 15 years old. He had survived five days buried underneath debris. Tonight, the local Nepalese community is holding a candlelight vigil for Nepal earthquake victims at Palm Beach State's Lake Worth campus. It's going to start at 7 o'clock at MLK Plaza. The event is open to the public. Covering Delray Beach now, where sheriffs and deputies have arrested the person they say killed a woman and left her on the side of the road. Here he is, John Chapman from Miami. He is charged with the murder. Deputies say Chapman admitted to killing Vanessa Williams Bristol. She was stabbed to death when someone found her body on the side of the road nearly a week ago. Deputies say the two had children together. This week's rain has caused lake levels to rise on the Treasure Coast. The Army Corps will start releasing water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie Estuary starting this coming Monday. The Corps stopped last week when tests revealed toxic algae blooms, but it is believed the blue-green algae will dissipate when it hits salty water in the river estuary. On a side note, we have learned that U.S. lawmakers approved a million dollars for plans to allow releases from the lake to flow south instead of east and west. A traffic reminder for you this midday. If you're driving in Boca Raton, the Camino Real Bridge is closed. This is until 8 o'clock tonight for repaving. Rain delayed the project earlier in the week, so you can use A1A, Palmetto Park Road, Southeast 5th Street, or US-1 instead. When News Channel 5 at noon continues, a reserve deputy killed a man when he confused his gun for a taser. Now, what changes are rolling out to make sure this doesn't happen again? Also, two minutes. That's all you need to improve your health. The simple activity you can do to live longer. We're back in just 60 seconds with more local coverage. If you ride with someone who was texting while driving, you may as well cover their eyes. Texting while driving can be deadly. Let's get that message out. The attorneys of Cersei Denny, taking time to care. Life begins with a howl. We scream, shout, shriek with joy. Until inhibition creeps in. Our world gets smaller, quieter. But life should be loud. Sing loud. Play loud. Love loud. Dentures shouldn't keep you quiet. Life should be ringing in your ears. Live loud. Holiday. You can buy unlimited texting for $20 a month. But how much can texting really cost you? Texting while driving can cost you your life. Let's get that message out. The attorneys of Cersei Denny, taking time to care. 
Covering America now, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is making changes to its controversial reserve deputy program. The program has been under scrutiny ever since uh, a reserve deputy, Robert Bates, shot and killed a suspect that he was meant to subdue with a taser. Bates is facing second degree murder charges. The Tulsa County Sheriff says reserve deputies will no longer patrol alone. In addition, all reserve deputies training will be audited. Five teenagers have been arrested, accused of making online threats in Kansas. A student tipped off investigators about Facebook posts alluding to a school shooting. The teens were all placed in a youth detention facility pending their court appearances. They are facing charges for conspiracy to commit murder and could be tried as adults. Just one more day before what is being called, oh boy, the biggest boxing match of the year. But. Here's the deal. The city of Las Vegas and the sport of boxing has already scored a knockout. Sin City already seeing benefits from the fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. Everyone from cab drivers, bartenders to hospitality workers, they are all feeling the economic boom. The fight will take place at MGM's Grand Garden Arena and is already predicted to draw near record numbers. The NFL draft continues this evening. Last night, though, the number one pick, Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston. You just heard the name right there. The Tampa Bay Bucks picking him up. As for the Dolphins, the NFL commissioner had some company when announcing Miami's first round pick. Jake Perry, who's from Palm Beach Gardens, joined him on the stage to announce wide receiver Devontae Parker out of Louisville as the Finns choice. Put that second soda down. We're going to tell you the health benefits of having one less sugary drink. Also, if you are planning on throwing a party for the Kentucky Derby or, well, if you just like brownies, guess what? The Test Kitchen has a recipe you can't miss. I like brownies and the Kentucky Derby, so awesome. All right, here's a quick look at the Sebastian Inlet camera. Lots of blue skies, people taking advantage of a very nice beach day. We're going to talk about what the weather looks like through the weekend, and we're going to talk about how it could deteriorate pretty quickly for the beginning of next week. That's all coming up in your forecast. It's 5 o'clock. You need to know what's happening right now. Keeping a close eye on the radar today. This house behind me arrested. The only local chopper getting you breaking news first. Steve Weagle tracking and alerting you before the storm moves in. Local news everywhere. The business is evacuated and part of Blue Heron Boulevard shut down. Leaders in Boynton Beach. Live with the call for help. He's extremely shaken up over the events of what happened. WVTV News Channel 5 at 5. Local coverage you can count on. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a new or used RV. Like this new Itasca by Winnebago Spirit, discounted to just $3.35 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Rivers below Pippin. Where they Experience one young man's magical journey to be extraordinary. Winner of the 2013 Tony Award for Best Musical Revival. The New York Times calls it astonishing. A Pippin for the 21st century. The Kravis Center, April 28th through May 3rd. For tickets, visit Kravis.org or call 561-832-SHOW. Hi, I don't have insurance, so I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. Well, I was hoping the dentist would ask me to marry him. <laughs> but we don't all get what we want now, do we? <laughs> okay, let's try something new. I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. They are. I was hoping you'd say that. Because that's a normal thing to say. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth. We're fixing dentistry. With free exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Make your home a more comfortable place to enjoy life's special moments during City Furniture's Memorial Day sale. A complete queen bedroom is just $9.99. A bonded leather sectional, $7.99. A five-piece dining set, $3.99. And find more great specials at cityfurniture.com. Plus, enjoy same-day delivery and no interest till 2017. Create memories that last a lifetime at City Furniture. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a new or used RV. Like this new Heartland Elk Ridge Express, discounted to just $234 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. Let's get back to more.
more on today's breaking news story out of Baltimore, where the city's top prosecutor is charging six police officers in the death of Freddie Gray. NBC's Jay Gray has more. A stunning announcement by Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby that all six of the officers involved in the Freddie Gray arrest will now be charged in connection with his death. We have probable cause to file criminal charges. The charges, including second-degree murder, manslaughter, and assault, are the result of a two-week investigation into Gray's death. Gray died from spinal cord injuries suffered while in police custody after he was left unrestrained in the back of a police transport van. Despite Mr. Gray's appeal for a medic, both officers assessed Mr. Gray's condition, and at no point did either of them restrain Mr. Gray per BPD general order, nor did they render or request medical assistance. Today's announcement follows nearly two weeks of marches and protests that at times have escalated into violence. I heard your call for no justice, no peace. Your peace is sincerely needed as I work to deliver justice on behalf of this young man. A 10 p.m. curfew will continue in Baltimore where security remains tight and tensions high. Jay Gray, NBC News, Baltimore. A health alert this midday. We all know getting up and moving is important for your health, but it turns out we don't have to do too much to start reaping the benefits. In fact, researchers recently found that adding just two minutes each hour of light intensity exercise, walking, gardening, cleaning, it lowers your risk of dying prematurely by 33%. Now that's compared to people who are sedentary. Low intensity activities, standing for instance, maybe just taking notes, well, they just didn't provide the same benefits. Cutting out just one sugary beverage a day can help reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. A new study followed 25,000 men and women who kept detailed food diaries. After 11 years, their risk of developing type 2 diabetes increased for each daily serving of a sugary drink. But researchers estimate that replacing just one of those beverages with water, coffee, or unsweetened tea could lower the risk of diabetes by about 14, maybe even as much as 25%. Now to a consumer alert. Consumer reports listing the products you should be able to find at deep discounts this month. Who doesn't love that? Mattresses, for one, are at some of their lowest prices this month, especially around Memorial Day. It is also a good time to buy carpet, Keep this in mind, many lawn mowers and tractors there were on sale last month, but if you missed out, you could still probably find some discounts this month. And then look for deals on athletic apparel, camping and outdoor gear, small consumer electronics like MP3s, Blu-ray or streaming media players. A cybersecurity firm found 90% of credit card readers use the same password. Uh, the passcode has apparently been set by default on these machines since 1990. With the code, an attacker can gain complete control of stores' credit card readers, potentially allowing them to hack in and steal your customer information. What's worse, security firms say keeping credit card machines safe is often low on a store's priority list. After you graduate from college, the hard part is finding a job, but now a startup is offering some help. Campus Jobs announcing this week it is expanding after getting nearly $8 million in new funding. This means the website will be posting jobs for college seniors, not just internships or part-time positions. The site helps narrow down a student's job search. It's free to join. All you need is an EDU email address. The race to one day give the average person a galactic, a galactic journey into space continues. Uh, this experimental spaceship blasted off from a test facility in Texas. It's launch part of an effort to develop a space flight service that could be used for commercial use. Blue Origin is behind the latest unmanned flight test. It is one of a handful of companies developing privately owned spaceships to fly experiments, satellites, even passengers. Amazon chief Jeff Bezos owns this startup. Meanwhile, NASA's Mercury Messenger space probe is no more. That probe completed its mission to study the planet before smashing into its surface and uh, over 8,000 miles an hour. That's how fast it was going. Messenger was launched in 2004. It traveled more than six years before it started orbiting Mercury. Uh, the weather has been slowly improving this week, but the question on everyone's mind, especially those going to Sunfest, Glenn, how nice is it going to be? It's going to be very nice. And one of the nicest Sunfest forecasts I've actually ever been able to give here at Channel 5. Let me show you what's happening right now. The Jensen Beach camera, uh, my oh my. People out there enjoying a nice day 
at the beach, uh, relatively low risk for rip current, just very, very pretty. And we're talking about temperatures that are below average for this time of year. Our average highs are around 84 degrees, 80 degrees right now in Vero, and it just got to 80 there. 77, Okeechobee, 81, Port St. Lucie, Jupiter coming in at about oh, 76 degrees right now. 78, West Palm, 82 in Boynton Beach. That's one of the warmest spots around in Belle Glade at 79 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest right now. They're going to become a little more northerly later on today, still bringing in that drier air. So as winds calm down tonight, the air will be nice and dry. Skies will be mostly clear and our temperatures will drop down to around 65 degrees in Boca, 64 in Boynton Beach, 63 in Wellington, 62 Bell Glade and about 62 degrees in Jupiter overnight. I'm sorry, can we get rid of this little channel five right here? I don't want it to block anything. 62 in Stewart, 60 in Port St. Lucie, 59 in Sebastian and 59 degrees in Okeechobee. All right, I want to show you what's happening over here. Uh, a few showers possible offshore as we get into the afternoon and evening hours and then and as we get to overnight tonight, skies remain very clear. Now, Vipercast really wants to bring in a couple of showers along the coast over the weekend. That chance is extremely slim for that to happen. In fact, it's about a 5% chance or so for both Saturday and here's Sunday at 11 o'clock. You see Vipercast trying to bring in a couple showers as well. So if that happens, it would be uh, pretty unusual. The air is going to be pretty dry. Now, something interesting may happen toward the beginning of next week, uh, mainly around Tuesday or Wednesday. A lot of the computer models are trying to develop an area of low pressure just off the Florida coast here, and some models have it becoming a subtropical or even a tropical storm. If so, it would get the first name of the season, which officially doesn't start until June 1st, but it's not unusual to see a storm uh, something to develop in, during the month of May, and it would be called Anna if that happens. So here's the good news. There are no computer models that bring it into Florida. Everything takes it off to the northeast. However, if it's a little bit closer to us, it could bring us some pretty heavy rainfall. Tuesday and Wednesday, a little farther away, and we'd see some much drier weather Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll keep our eyes on this for you and keep you up to date. In the meantime, we have bumped up the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. But from today, straight through the weekend, gorgeous weather, below average high temperatures. Temperatures start to climb a little bit. Rain chances go up on Tuesday. That's a look at your forecast. With the Kentucky Derby just days away, we have some inside tips on a great recipe. So grab your hat because Howard is back in the test kitchen. Tomorrow is the 140th running of the Kentucky Derby. So in honor of the run for the roses, we came up with a new recipe that'll be perfect whether you're planning on watching it or you just want to use the race as an excuse to make something downright delicious. We start off by melting some butter with a bit of unsweetened chocolate until it's nice and smooth. Once it is, we take it off the heat, and while it cools slightly, we beat a few eggs until they're nice and light. Once they are, we add some sugar to them. After that's combined, we slowly add the chocolate mixture to the eggs, along with some flour, a touch of salt, a splash of bourbon, and a bit of peppermint extract. We'll bake this off in a 9 by 13 pan, and once it cools, we finish it off with a quick throw together frosting. You see, the combo of the bourbon and the mint is reminiscent of a mint julep, which is the classic drink at the Derby. Let me tell you, you don't have to be a horse racing fan to love these. I really do hope you'll go online and get the recipe for our mint julep brownies so you can share the fun of the Derby like a true champion. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a chocolatey way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Looks pretty good, I must say. If you'd like to try it, you can find the recipe just in case you need it again. Go to our website, wptv.com slash Mr. Food. We'll be right back. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. 
Saturday, May 2nd. Watch and wager on the fastest two minutes in sports, the Kentucky Derby. Enjoy a full day of live racing, contest, great food, and much more. Saturday, May 2nd, Kentucky Derby Viewing Party. First race, 10.30 a.m. The only place to watch world-class year-round live racing is at Gulfstream Park. First race, 1 p.m. The Ladies' Day Hat Contest. Get glamorous and you can win exciting prizes. For more information, visit gulfstreampark.com. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. Managing depression. It's about getting you back to you and all the things that matter to you. Whether or not you're taking an antidepressant, feelings such as depressed mood and lack of energy can still get in the way. And that's just not you. We're conducting a clinical research study evaluating an investigational drug designed to work with antidepressants to see if it can help address unresolved symptoms of depression. So give us a call and see if you may be eligible to participate. I hated having missing teeth, but I wanted high-quality care I could afford. I got it all at the Ferber Dental Group. Implants from $4.99 and highly skilled dentists. Now, I got a great smile when I choose to use it. We all have you smiling again. Yeah, your first draft, everybody here has been learning how to, uh, you know, in your English classes, that you write drafts, right? You, mm -hmm. you, 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 you try something, you write it the first time. Listen, uh, even the best writers, usually it's not that good the first time they write it. Yeah, and I think you've sort of covered everything about that question. Okay, you think, I, you think I've just kind of... Most mom thinks I've been talking too long. No, no, I think you just... No, well, let's move it along. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the president was visiting a public library in D.C. to launch new ways to get kids in low-income areas to read. You uh, see the little boy's expression, and it just says bored. Like, get on with it, Mr. President. I mean, if you put, if you <laughs> edited something together <clears throat> for all the things that kids say to not just this president, but you know, past presidents, it would be. I would yeah. watch that whole video. There, remember, there was a kid, uh, young girl earlier this year. They said that the special guest was coming to the class, and she was hoping it was Beyonce, and she told him. She said, oh, I, was, I thought you would be Beyonce. Oh, you know, man. So this is a, That's good, though, because it, was, it really was so innocent, but it's, it's hilarious. That's pretty funny. Good stuff. All right, a quick look at uh, your seven-day forecast. Gorgeous weather straight through the weekend, and high temperatures in the low 80s, maybe in some upper 70s for highs tomorrow. Both Saturday and Sunday, really limited chances for rain. I mean, the only chance would be like a rogue shower okay. coming in along the coast. Far Otherwise, just though. gorgeous. Low humidity, uh, breezy both days. Not bad at all. I was going to go back into the story, but I feel like you'd say, wrap it up, Holony. <laughs> oh, yeah, You've covered it. Wrap it up. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Um
Beach Kennel Club, where winners play. Saturday, May 2nd, Kentucky Derby Fun Festival, with Derby Hat Contest, Trackside Barbecue, and 15 live races. No dental insurance? Call now. Worried about high fees? Call now. Gentle Dental offers a discount program to make quality dentistry affordable for everyone. It's not dental insurance, it's better. Exam, x-rays, and dental cleanings are included. And save up to 65% off at all of our convenient locations. All this for a low annual fee that's less than most insurance plans. Call now and save with the VIP discount program. 855-VIP-GENTLE. Gentle Dental. All dentistry, one place. The Mitchells want to transform this barely used bonus room into an entertainment room. Great room. How do you guys want to use it? We'd like a place we could all hang out. Definitely. For this makeover, I'll mix casual colors and fabrics. It's easy to create a functional and fun space with the HGTV Home Design Studio at Bassett. So we've got this U-shaped sectional. These fabrics are great. I love the pops of color. It used to be a storage room. Now it's a family room. We love it. Are you ready for your big reveal? Save 25 to 35% store-wide, plus special financing for 36 months. They've reached the point of no return. She's doing it. Nick! I can't stop it. An all-new Grimm that can't be missed tonight here on NBC. On the first Saturday in May, beneath the majestic spires of Churchill Downs, a new champion will be crowned. The race for the Triple Crown begins with the Kentucky Derby, only on NBC. Life begins with a howl. We scream, shout, shriek with joy. Until inhibition creeps in. Our world gets smaller, quieter. But life should be loud. Sing loud. Play loud. Love loud. Dentures shouldn't keep you quiet. Life should be ringing in your ears. Live loud. Super Polygrip. Super Polygrip seals out more food particles so your food won't get stuck. And you can enjoy every single bite. Mm -hmm. Eat loud, live loud. Super Polygrip. <laughs> Super Polygrip holds your dentures tightly in place. So you never have to hold back. Laugh loud, live loud. Super Polygrip. Grandmother. Mother, daughter. Each year, women of all ages are diagnosed with breast cancer. That's why for you and the next generation of cancer survivors, Memorial has created a new, stronger than ever breast cancer center. Be stronger in your fight with the new Memorial Breast Cancer Center and the strength of Memorial Cancer Institute on your side. To speak with a patient navigator, call 954-265-HEAL. Four amazing people from all across the country on their webcam trying to win up to $35,000. Let's meet them! From Indianapolis, Indiana, give it up for Angela. From Newton, Massachusetts, it's Sherry. From Eldersburg, Maryland, give it up for Nicole. From Seminole, Oklahoma, it's Jessica. Welcome, everybody. We asked America their opinions on a bunch of fun topics. All you guys have to do is guess what America said, and you win the big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah! yeah. All right, let's get this party started. The first question is worth $100. and has two possible answers. The answers are in person, by text. And the question is, what do moms say is the most effective way to communicate with their teenage daughter? I say just go to the school. 